Today I will show you how to get your NVIDIA control panel back in this updated tutorial. The most common issue that causes this is that you have DCH drivers. These drivers come from Microsoft and they do not include the NVIDIA control panel. What you can do is to go to the Microsoft Store and download the NVIDIA control panel as an application. However, this method isn't the best because this control panel is limited. I would recommend you instead install NVIDIA standard drivers. This is the standard NVIDIA download page. This often doesn't give you the option of selecting Windows type drivers, standard or DCH. Instead, you need to go to advanced search, link in description. It looks like this. You can see we have Windows driver type and the Windows driver type has to be set to standard, not DCH and you should be set. Make sure you do select the right operating system, otherwise it might not work at all. When you do install this driver, it will automatically uninstall the DCH driver completely. However, if you're trying to uh, install an older game ready driver, like from early 2019 or 2018, you will need to remove the DCH driver manually yourself. But it's always best to go with the latest drivers, or usually, so you should not need to care much about that. When you have installed the game ready drivers, the NVIDIA standard drivers, you should then, after restart of your computer, have access to your NVIDIA control panel. If this still didn't solve the issue, then I have multiple other solutions later in this video. First of all, I will just want to talk about the DCH drivers. Some claim that you should instead use the DCH driver for stability and such. However, it is much more limited and the regular NVIDIA control panel is much more powerful than that one you can get via Microsoft Store. Thus, it's a better idea, I'd say, to use the NVIDIA standard drivers instead. And if you have multiple graphics cards, you will definitely need a standard NVIDIA control panel to change global settings to use the preferred graphics processor. If you have a laptop with the integrated Intel graphics card as well as NVIDIA graphics card, you will need to make sure that your NVIDIA control panel has the right graphics processor selected as the preset. If you're unsure about that, check how to switch from Intel to NVIDIA uh, in the description of this video. I made a video about that that has become very popular. If you can't find the display here, um, it's likely it might be connected up through your motherboard instead, or if it tells you it's connected to your motherboard, then you will need to put it in your graphics card. Behind your computer you have outputs for your motherboard, you also have outputs for your graphics card, and they both have HDMI usually, and if you plug in your screen to the HDMI on your motherboard, you're bypassing your graphics card. So keep that in mind also, if you have any kind of those issues. Well, let's move on with some deeper solutions if this didn't solve your issue. If you right click on your desktop and you see no NVIDIA control panel, you might think it's missing. Well, maybe not. Click your Windows key and write in control panel. Launch the control panel. Here inside the control panel, you can find NVIDIA control panel. Click that on the desktop tab you can check the box Add Desktop Context Menu. Click that. Now you can easily access the NVIDIA Control Panel from your desktop. If you still miss your NVIDIA Control Panel, you can see if it's even on the computer. Go to this PC, local disk where you have installed uh, your main operating system. Then you go to Program Files and NVIDIA Corporation. Inside this, you can find Control Panel Client, the file that's called nvcplui.exe is your NVIDIA Control Panel. 
you can make a shortcut to this to desktop by dragging and holding alternative. We won't do this, however. If you can't find your NVIDIA control panel here, you'll need to do like this. Click Windows key and X. Then you select Device Manager. Inside the Device Manager, you go to Display Adapters. Inside Display Adapters, you right-click the NVIDIA GeForce card that you have. And you'll click Update Driver Software. And then you'll check Search Automatically for an updated driver. And there, you just follow the install instructions, restart your computer, and then it should be there. If you still can't find it, then you can try to do a clean manual install of the NVIDIA drivers. Watch for that video in the description. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, leave a like and subscribe for future content. This is Jimmy from Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.